Hey everyone, Symbiote here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Aurora Skies Part 1. Wow, that's going to be a mouthful. Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to be doing this in conjunction with my Montevista LP, and then I have to finish the Asylum Challenge, and I also am going to be doing, doing University when it comes out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm shifting around in my chair. Um, I'm also going to be doing University when it comes out March 5th, so there will be a lot of content coming your way, <laughs> and hopefully I can keep up with a normal schedule, but um, there should be at least an upload every day or every couple days. Um, this is... I, it was loading pretty fast, so I started recording, and now it's taking its sweet time, but it'll it'll load. Um, I have music turned off, so there won't be any music during the initial pan, but that's, that's all right, because the music, as you probably know, is wicked loud, <laughs> so it'll be okay. Um, another thing, uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, today I'm expecting a package, so... <laughs> I, there might be a knock at the door, and it might scare the crap out of me, so hopefully that doesn't happen while I'm recording, but if it does, I'll just stop and step away and come back, and it'll be like I didn't go anywhere, because, you know, <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I'm in a really weird mood. Okay, so this is taking forever, but I don't want to stop the video necessarily, because I'm afraid that we'll miss the initial pan. But, I think, yeah, I think we're going to, I'm going to stop for now, and then once it's loaded up more, I will start again. Okay, we're back. Um, that took a while, but, you know, what are you going to do? So this is the initial pan. They're showing off the hot springs, and it looks pretty so far. It's nice and green, and looks like... There's like, a, you know, sort of a sulfurous layer. It's not winter, so. Um, yeah, so this is it. It's not very large, but I think they they definitely put a lot of, of work into creating this world. It's, it is very pretty, and there are some fjords up here we'll look at in a second. Um, yeah, so there's a little house over here, a few little houses. They're very cute. Um... Are these geysers? I don't know. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, yeah, so up here you have the fjords, and I, I, this is amazing. I do occasionally build worlds, and it's time-consuming, and it's completely a labor of love. And this shows great attention to detail, and it looks like you can actually come up here. And I wonder if that's the criminal hangout but it could just be a shack. I think it's the criminal hangout from, if I remember correctly, from the producer's walkthrough. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool looking. The water is that beautiful glacial blue, and this is definitely supposed to be, um, supposed to be representative of a Scandinav uh, Scandinavian country, um, Iceland, I think. That's what they were going for which is why you have sort of that glacial element. So, yeah, what I've decided to do is instead of doing a review of the world, I think we're just going to jump right in and, um, and yeah, do, do the LP. So, yeah, let's go into... Well, actually, um, the I have the household ready. I went ahead... And I, I prepared it in advance, and then we'll take a look at The Sims after we get in there. Um, and I haven't picked a house yet, so what I might do is stop the video just to take a look at a few of the houses. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think that's... Well, no, I mean, you probably want to see the houses that they can move into. These are all too expensive. Let's see, anything up here? No expensive so we've got a couple little starter lots they have two pets and they have um there are three sims so we're gonna need something that has enough space what's this um this doesn't say 
how many bedrooms it has. So let's take a look. Hopefully I don't have to build a lot for them. I kind of want to experience it and it's got to load up. I recently got a lot of new content and so it's taken its time. Okay, this is definitely... Come on, let the textures load. Everything has to get cached into the, sim, uh, the system, so first couple times it'll it'll take a second. So, but this is cute. It's definitely cute for a starter. It's nice and spacious for a starter, um, but that's not going to work for our purposes unless I feel like chopping chopping off part of the apartment or part of the house to make room for the other Sims, and even then I think there won't be enough space. So we're going to cancel that, and that's the one I just looked at, right? Okay. Um, quarry house, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been coughing. I love, I love the bright colors. Um, from the, the screenshots, I was a little dubious. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I do. Okay, once again, the starter's way too small. Because, uh, yeah, you have a teen in the, in the household I made. You have a teen, and you have... Oh, I love that little quilt pattern, though. You have a teen, you have a toddler, and you have a female young adult sim, so there needs to be at least enough space for them to live, essentially. So I'm guessing this is the end result of this is going to be me building a house um, and hopefully I can make something that's in the spirit of the town. Oh, that's so cute. The little gazebo. That's really adorable. I'm already looking at this thinking it's probably not going to be big enough. I could... Oh, I love the new wallpaper too. That's, that's really nice. Um... If you haven't noticed from my other videos, I like this sort of country blue. <laughs> I really love this sort of country blue. Um, it, you know, we could have a situation like in Monte Vista where I can edit the house, maybe add on a little more space, and we could definitely, if we were to downgrade this double bed, I think we'd have enough money to put the toddler and the mother in one room and then make a room for the teenage daughter but that's going to be untenable once once the toddler ages up this reminds me a lot of some of the houses in Monte Vista this this looks quite a bit like what um, the house that my Monte Vista LP is in the mailbox is so cute Sorry, I don't mean to be a spaz. I'm, I'm kind of high energy right now, but that is. That's really cute. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Sorry, I don't mean to be, like, indecisive. It's just there are never any starter houses that are large enough. Yeah, I already looked at Quarry House. Um, how much money do we have? We have 18,500 simoleons. Hmm. You know, hang on a second, how much was that that little house? It's right in the downtown area, which could be nice. It's called Home Sweet Home, which is pretty cute. It's furnished, we can purchase it for 16,351 simoleons. I'd prefer not to have to furnish it myself. It already looks like the furniture's on the cheaper side, but boy I don't know sorry I'm like taking so long to decide <sighs> um let me just really quickly let me just take a look at the furniture again see if there's anything I think I can like I said I can downgrade the bed and I know I could build up another floor once I have some more money there's no reason it couldn't be sort of tightly packed right now and maybe they could all just share a room I mean that's that's conceivable and uh, maybe the mom and daughter could share a bed and then we could put the, the crib over here. You know, that, that might work. Um, yeah. 
yeah, you know what? I like this place. And it is. It's in kind of an interesting neighborhood. And there's no parking, it looks like, but I can easily make room for parking. And Excuse me. I keep having the hiccups. There's a playground back here. I'm assuming this is the community pool. I bet it's a house. Let's see. Is this the children's center? I don't know. I don't I don't know if that lot has already been placed. It might be something else. But yeah, this is cute. So we're going to go with this. Um, and then this first video, what it'll be primarily is we're going to take a look at these sims in uh, Create a Sim. And we will... Um, yeah, I'll just give you their backstory. And we'll just, we'll generally, we'll just try to keep it as short as possible. I don't want to, I don't want to ramble too much. And I know that I, um, I sometimes get lost in thought and things like that. So I appreciate your patience. Oh, once again, it's taking its sweet time to load, but that's all right. Um, as I said, I did. I, I invested in a l oh. Hang on. It's awfully loud. Okay. We're going to turn this down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, as you can see, this is the family. Let me put this up. Okay. And, oh, he's about to think of his mom. This is, uh, this is Parvati Dinesh. And she actually recently moved here because basically what happened, here's, here's the story. Parvati is a young adult, and many, many years ago, she was, um, she's from India, and she was, um, married very young, like, in her teens. She, she ended up running away from, from home. She, you know, she didn't have too traditional of an upbringing. She ran away from home. She married a British gentleman, and she ended up having her daughter, Vi uh, Verity. I was going to say Violet. I'm, I thought I named her Violet, but no. I uh, had her daughter, Verity. So, you know, that's a typical British name. So Verity is half Indian, half British. And um, then years later, when... Um, ugh, I'm sorry, I keep losing my turn of thought. Years later, Parvati was living, you know, with her daughter. They were living together, and she ended up meeting a Portuguese gentleman and his name was Breno and he was coming through in her her village with a traveling theater troupe and he was sort of just you know he was palling around around the world and seeing what he could see and he was pretty young and she and he had a fling and uh, she ended up falling pregnant and having her son Sterling. She's she's a good mom. She's between jobs right now. She doesn't really know what she wants to do with herself. But she's dedicated to her children. Very, very dedicated. But at the same time, she um, she didn't she realized she wasn't super fond of raising her children in uh, in the village where they were and she had heard about the wonderful schools and the opportunities up here in Iceland and she decided that you know what the hell we're just we're just going to move and poor Verity she is pretty bummed she's not with her friends and it's a big change and, you know, Sterling doesn't really know the difference. He's, he's totally, he's totally fine. He's a pretty laid back kid. So he's going to be all right. And uh, they have two pets. And you're going to laugh, but I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. So I named this cat Dr. Mew Dinesh. I know it's a pun. I don't care. I, I've always wanted to name a cat Dr. Mew. And if I ever get another cat, because I have a cat named Emmy and she's, wonderful and I love her but if we get another cat ever I'm gonna name it Dr. Mew because I'm a huge nerd and this is Doodle Dinesh this is their dog he's a Pomeranian and uh, he is actually modeled after my dog so I wanted to put him in the game so, yeah there you go I'm a nerd uh, so anyway let's take a peek at the family in 
We can go into create a sim. Hang on a second. Doo -doo. The game is not cooperating with me right now. Oh, I don't think I have cheats turned on. I'm going to have to do that. Okay, so we're going into create a sim. I almost clicked force kill, which would be bad. <laughs> you can kill sims with master controller. And it really just makes them die immediately. But I've decided uh, I don't use it very often. Sometimes if I have a paparazzo that's hanging around my lot and just making me crazy, sometimes I'll force kill them and then I'll put their graves on my on my property and hang out with their ghosts. I know, that's so weird. I promise I'm not a sadist, but what are you going to do? So yes, this is Parvati. This is her everyday outfit. And as the weather gets colder, we're going to put her in something else. Obviously, this is not appropriate for when it's going to get colder. And I think she's lived in hot weather for her whole life. <laughs> so this is going to be quite the change for her. And I don't know if she's going to like the cold. Um, here are her basics. Let's see. I hear her basics. She's human. She's a young adult. Um, and that's pretty much the long and the short of it. Uh, her hair is the same across all her outfits. I just decided to do that. I'm going to have a link. This is custom content. I'm going to have a link to all of my custom content. And, um, because I feel like that's, that's fair. That's what you do. And let's see. Here is her, like you said, uh, like I said, here's her every day. And when it comes up, it's loading all of the new content I have. We're going to go to formal. And I set all this up, so hopefully, sometimes when you open create a sim, it'll do really weird stuff. Um, if you open a sim and create a sim after the fact, it'll, it'll just change their lifetime wish or something like that. So I'm going to have to pay attention. Come on. Yeah, it's loading. It's going. Here we go. There she is. So this is her formal outfit. As you can see, it is a traditional sari. And she's very dedicated to her culture. Um, so obviously she's going to try to stay true to that, even though there's going to be a little bit of a culture shock. She just, you know, she read about how great the schools are and, and how clean it is and just thought this is going to be a, a nice environment and a clean start and it'll be good. So that's why they are here and she intends to make the most of it. But she is very dedicated to her culture. Okay. For sleepwear we have... It's going to take forever to load. I'm so sorry. Yes, yeah, so we have this, which is from Master Suite, and I recently got Master Suite, and everybody talks about how nice this stuff is, and it really is. This is very, very um, luxurious, and I, I like the lace detail and all that. It, it looks great. So, yes, this is her her sleepwear. Her athletic is going to load. There we go. She likes bright colors, and I know this is like a wild color combination, but I love primary colors mixed together. I feel like she kind of looks like a superhero. So <laughs> I'm down with that. Um, let's see. And a lot of this actually is store content. I, I like a lot of the store content that I got. Okay, so here's her swimwear. And this is also, I think, from Master Suite. And I think it looks really, really great. And she's got her gold necklace. She loves gold. She loves jewelry. And what the hey, it looks gorgeous on her, so why not? Um, and then here we go, let's see. For outerwear, this is what she's wearing, just something comfortable. She decided before she came to Iceland to invest in some warmer clothes. So this is, excuse me, this is kind of what she's comfortable in at the moment. She doesn't like wearing too many heavy layers. Oh my god, excuse me, I have the worst hiccups right now. Okay, so yeah, that's Parvati's wardrobe and her personality. She is charismatic, she's friendly, she's a schmoozer, she's a virtuoso, and she is a workaholic. 
For her lifetime wish, I've chosen Golden Tongue, Golden Tongue, Golden Fingers, which is mastering the charisma skill and mastering the guitar skill. And the description says, Kindly spoken words and softly strummed strings are the fastest way to a sim's heart and an excellent way to make friends. Charisma is a highly social endeavor, whereas guitar is for those who love learning and performing music. A master of both is an irresistible charmer without peer in the social world. And she is. She's a bit of a social butterfly. So even though I didn't give her that trait, but you know, it, it's in the spirit of it. So, uh, yeah, this is what she's going to do. I may regret having her do the guitar. With music off, usually you can't hear it, but sometimes you can. And if it's too loud, um, that'll be kind of frustrating. And I might end up having to send her to the park to practice or something so that we don't have to hear her in the house. Okay, so her favorites are turquoise, she loves rock music, and she loves alu masala curry. Sadly, I don't know if she's going to be getting her hands on good curry that she doesn't actually have to make up here. So, you know, she may be a little bit bummed about that. That's her voice. And she is an Aquarius. So there you go. That is the lovely Miss Dinesh. And we're going to are you sure you want to delete this household and leave create a sim? No. That always confuses me, but I'm worried that if I hit accept, it's going to change something. I think it'll be okay. We'll have to pay attention. I'm always so, so, uh, confused and off my game <laughs> at the beginning of, of these series, but I think it'll be okay. All right. So, here we go. Actually, hang on. We're just going to... Turn these on. Oh my god. I appear to have had a stroke or something. Okay. So, yes, here we go. This is going to be Verity. Now, Verity is, is really kind of different from her mother. Her mother is, you know, she's highly intelligent, but Verity is a genius. And actually, let me go through her personality first. She is ambitious, she's a computer whiz, she's a genius, and she's a workaholic, just like her mother, actually. She got her work ethic from her mom. And obviously, you know, that's that's something that's going to be important in the long run. From a more meta standpoint, I like when Sims are workaholics because then they don't get cranky <laughs> while they're at work as, as easily. I don't actually know what I wanted to do, but I have the NROS careers mod and that allows Sims to actually work as hackers. Uh, it gives them additional bonuses for leveling that up. So I think that we're going to have her work in the hacker career, which will be a little bit of a challenge because she, you know, you can only do it at certain times of night. And she's also going to be going with, uh, going to college with Halia. This is the Sim who's going to be going to college. Um, so during university, you're going to see her again. So hopefully you like her, but I think she's a pretty cool chick. As you can see, she looks a lot like her mother. There's a very, very strong family resemblance, but obviously her skin is a little bit lighter because her father is, you know, he's a British gentlemen and so you know it's that's the only real difference but they have the same hair color generally the same features and uh same physique they're you know they're lanky girls but they'll get strong up here because uh, it'll help them in the cold exercising will help she likes to wear more makeup than her mother even though she likes to wear uh sort of uh, i'd call these prim clothes. I would argue that they're they're on the prim side, but she does have the stiletto heels, which are great. I love those. Her favorite color is lime. As you you'll see that a lot of her clothes in fact have have lime in them. Her favorite music is Roots and her favorite food is peanut butter and jelly. Her voice? There you go. That's what she sounds like. She is a Scorpio. And, yep, I went through her traits already. Okay. So, for clothing, 
Hopefully I'm not being too quiet right now. I'm, I'm never sure. Right now I'm recording during the day and I don't usually do that. So I think I'm speaking loudly enough. Hopefully. I don't know. Okay, so yes, you've seen this is her everyday outfit. She likes to wear, you know, dresses and things like that. I, I love the little pocket detail that's on this dress. This is from the Sims 3 store. These heels are... Oh boy... I want to say they're custom contents. Yeah, they're custom. Like I said, I will provide as many links as possible. If you have any questions, I can find out who made what. Okay, so her formal outfit. It's always nice. The teens have fewer clothes to load up. As you can see, there's the lime. This is her formal outfit. She loves lime and purple together. So as you can see. And she wears a lot of silver, unlike her mom, who wears a lot of gold. She likes to wear jewelry, but she prefers silver. And let's go to sleepwear. She kind of has a fun, sparkly sleepwear. I don't know. It just seemed... I don't know. I like it. It's just kind of wild. And, you know, it doesn't look too revealing, so she can just wander outside to pick up the newspaper or something, no problem. Um, let's see. Her athletic is loading. There we go. Her athletic is kind of wild. It's, you know, what are you going to do? She's a teenager. She can have some fun. And what does that t-shirt say? It says, funny girls are hot. Yes, they are. Funny girls are indeed hot. Uh, she likes to wear her little star ring. And she actually paints her nails the same color as her mom. It's just something she does... Traditionally, they are very close, although right now she is upset about uprooting her life, essentially, to move here. Um, her swimwear, there we go. Just a simple white bikini. She, you know, they're assuming that it's not going to be as cold as it gets up here. Iceland is beautiful during... Uh, during most most of the year, but it does get very dark and it does get very cold. Actually, it'd be really interesting if for this world they had the Iceland um, solar cycle where it's dark for a good chunk of the year. That would be really, really interesting. Oh, I just noticed that these are clipping into the back of the pants a little bit. Um, we'll deal with it for now. I can change it later. Uh, so... Yep, purple sweater, just jeans, boots with the lime to tail, and some gloves. Nothing, it's a big deal. Just casual. She likes to keep things clean and simple, and that's, that's her way of doing things. So, okay, here we go. We're going to close out of this. And we're going to load up little Sterling. Okay helps if I don't suck. Okay. Alright, so here's little Sterling. As you can see, he's got a faux hawk. I think that's so cute. I don't know why. <laughs> I just love faux hawks on little kids. He's wearing his little van sneakers. He's he's a fun kid. Um, and, uh, yeah, for some reason I like green and yellow together. So that's what he's wearing. Um, obviously, he's human. Obviously, he's a toddler. It's pretty clear. Here is are his outfits. So his everyday looks like this. His formal looks like this. His sister picked out this shirt for him. <laughs> and he loves it. And... Okay, this is his sleepwear. It's got a little monkey. Some shorts. Uh, those are actually like little boxer briefs for toddlers. I thought they were cute. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. And this is his um, his outerwear. He's got the patterned hoodie and gloves and just comfy pants and his little uh, white and red sneakers. So he's all set for the winter. <coughs> Excuse me. He is perceptive and he's a genius. I have never done the private investigator career. 
and I really, really want to. <laughs> so, hopefully it's not too difficult in terms of logistics in a, in a gameplay, because it will involve paying a lot of attention to what goes on, but I think it'll be okay. And his favorite color is aqua. He loves electronica. When they play it, he dances around really cutely. He sort of, well, he can't walk yet. He bops. He bops around. Um, his favorite food is mac and cheese. You've heard his voice. He's been gurgling and cooing the whole time. And he is a Capricorn. So, yes, that is the Dunesh family. And then we'll just take a quick look. You saw the cat and the dog. They're... Um, the cat is a Havana Brown, and he's got lovely blue eyes, and the dog is a Red Sable Pomeranian, and he actually doesn't look quite as much like my dog as I'd like, because his face isn't, isn't cute enough, if that, like, I love my dog, I'm obsessed with my dog, so, yeah, obviously I think he's the cutest thing in the world. So, alright. I think that's going to be good for now. I'm sorry I didn't get into any gameplay, but the next video will have some. I don't want this video to be too long, but um, we will, we'll, uh, next time we'll focus on getting everybody set up, and uh, yeah, I'm going to work on the house in between. So, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please feel free to, here you want to take a look, this is very pretty, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, I, I love hearing from you, I know I say that all the time, but, you know, in case you've missed, missed any of my videos, I'll just say it again, I'll reiterate, this is so pretty, I can't get over it, that's great, okay. So, yes, I will see you next time in Let's Play The Sims 3 Aurora Skies. Thank you so much for watching, and be well.